All right, this is Tennessee End of Course um, Practice Test. This is question number 48. Uh, the question states, or this is for Algebra 1, by the way, Ernest plans to paint a small rectangular wall in his apartment as shown. So here's his wall. He's going to paint a nice diagonal apparently across it. What is the closest to the length and feet of the diagonal strip that separates the two colors? I guess he wants to know, oftentimes if you paint like this, you're going to put a little tape line there. He wants to know how long this tape is. Well, obviously, this is a triangle. And in fact, because they identify this right angle here, this is a right triangle. So if I'm thinking about, what am I going to do with that? It's got nothing to do with anything, does it? Of course it does. If I look for a triangle, the first one I'll see is here. But this isn't an area question. They want to know about a side. The Pythagorean theorem speaks to sides. It's a squared plus b squared equals c squared. It's even nice enough to tell us that a and b are the sides that make up the right angle. So that was the formulas page, in case I didn't mention it. So I'm going to write down a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Now, I'm going to touch the right angle. That will help me identify what a and b are. That would be 3 and 8. So I do 3 squared plus 8 squared equals c squared. So I'm going to figure out that 3 squared is 9 plus 8 squared is 64. And I get 9 plus 64, which is 73. And then this is c squared. I don't want to know what c squared is. I want to know what c is. So I'm going to take the square root. Because c squared will tell me how big this whole square with side c and c would be. But I want to know just one side, so I need the square root of it. So I take the square root of 73. Your calculator may work differently. 8.5. So it asks me uh, which is closest to the length. So the closest to this 8.5. I don't know why I didn't feel like I needed to write that down. Uh, the thing closest to 8.5 is the 9, so my answer, of course, is G. Now, uh, you can also, they conveniently leave a little bit of distance between those two numbers, between the answer choices, I'm sorry, so 5, 9, and 11. If you get a general idea, if you just lose your mind, say on test day, well, that 8 side, you can start using your calculator stuff for uh, for length, this is about where 8 is. Well, if you look at this, it's not, so hold your pen, pen there. It's not that much more, right, if we do it at that angle. So it's probably going to be the 9 anyway. But they're not always drawn to scale, so don't use that very much. But worst comes to worst, last case scenario, I guess you could try that. but Because they tend to do a little bit closer to scale than some of the other things. But a squared plus b squared equals c squared is the best way to do number 48.